You just really have to work out the infrastructure. Now, when it comes to the 360 booth, have you guys noticed over the last two years how much we've had to unfortunately drop our prices, our service price? I've dropped my price by like close to almost close to $200. And that sucks for me as a business owner because I remember those days where I would go out for two hours with the 360 booth myself as the operator. I would make close to $700, not including any tips that we would get. Because you guys know in this industry, sometimes we get some big tips, right? And then it got to a point where I got some a couple of contractors. And some of them, I realized, were having a hard time carrying the booth into their car because the booth is pretty heavy. And then also, guys, remember, those stanchions take up a lot of space. A lot of folks didn't have an SUV or an SUV with the cargo extender like the, the one that I have to place the stanchions. So the 360 booth, it's a cool production, but to initiate the actual, you know, service, it takes a lot of effort. It takes a, a unique individual to do that. And so I decided to invest a good amount of money on a DSLR booth. And so the DSLR booth, it, it runs a little different. It runs a little different in the sense that you can actually change a lot of the effects, right? So when you're dealing with software like Snappic, you can create a lot of different types of experiences with a digital photo booth that's connected to a mirrorless camera. And so the quality is going to be amazing. And so these right here look great at weddings, at corporates, at almost any venue. So that's why you guys are starting to see me put content out for the DSLR photo booth, not even the iPad selfie booth, but the DSLR photo booth, because constantly looking into the industry, into the game, I realized the consumer is going to get a lot smarter and they're going to want the best bang for their buck. They're going to want quality for their big event. And so this is the best way that I can perform in this industry and offer quality photos and quality GIFs is through coupling the iPad with the DSLR camera, and on top of that, the flash head. So as um, there's 14 of you guys right here. So go ahead and post your questions regarding this topic. Is a 360 booth still a good investment? Yes, it could, it could be a good investment, but remember, it's all about where you reside and how much competition you have and how fierce that competition is when it comes to pricing. Now, I'm... I'm subscribed to the photo booth marketing group and we cover different areas of the business every single Tuesday. And I know there are certain pitch decks you can offer clients. I know we can upgrade the experience when it comes to the 360 and, and try to make closer to like a thousand dollars per event. But let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, it is extremely challenging to do that because even on a smaller scale, you're still competing with local competition, but now you're out in this ocean of photo booth businesses trying to capture a whale and wheel that whale in so that they can hire you and pay you maybe twice as much as you are charging right now. So that's a challenge on its own. You have to have the right verbiage. You have to have the right network. You have to understand the way corporate communicates. And so there are going to need templates and things like that, which I have, but I'm telling you right now. It's not the easiest thing to do. However, if you are able to capture some of those big corporations or their larger venues, that's great because uh, now you might have consistency throughout the lifetime of your photo booth rental business because you'll have them as a repeat client. So there's risk and reward in everything. 